Hey guys, great job getting logged in. I see that everyone is logged into Khan Academy now at this point, and many of you have already started working on those lessons that teach you about the reasons for the seasons. Now there's a few more things I want to show you today. I want to talk about incentives that you can earn. I want to talk about how you see your assignments if you had trouble finding them yesterday or on Friday, and how to explore your interests further. All right, so I'm logged in as Dylan McMillan over here. And first I want to show you your incentives. Over on the very far right, after you log in, you're going to see energy points and badges. You earn these energy points when you complete lessons and master skills. With these energy points, one of the cool things that you can do is you can actually change your avatar. And you can see how many Dylan McMillan has earned already. Some of these are pretty darn cool. You might not have access to all of these yet. Let's see. Let me reset his original one. I think I saw it right here. You can see he has always been into turtles and still is. To get to this screen, which is called your dashboard, you just need to click the Khan Academy icon on the top of your screen. Even if you are somewhere else, to get back to your assignments, click that icon. Okay? And you can see that the assignments that I have assigned to you are right on the top. Make sure you're looking at the due date because these recent assignments are due at the earliest due date and I will be assigning some more assignments um, that have to do with our next unit and on his screen I can see those right down here where it says view the next 13 assignments due later. Those all have to do with Newton's laws of motion which you're going to need to know for our physics unit. All right now I want to show you how to explore your interests. Today if you finish all three of these and it says completed, completed, completed in your status bar, then you can explore Khan Academy to see what else you're interested in. When I scroll down, my course list is only going to show the courses that I've already been working on. But we can add to that. There's some really cool science courses. First, I would suggest browsing before you add a course. You browse by going up to the top, above your avatar, and click on this drop-down menu for courses. There's tons. The ones that I would suggest you looking at under Science and Engineering are the very, the very first Physics, Cosmology and Astronomy, Chemistry, Biology, and Health and Medicine. I would avoid the classes that say AP in front of them right now. That means Advanced Placement High School Courses. And why not start with the middle school courses first, all right, before we jump to those. For example, you don't want to take apply, um, Advanced Physics 1 or Advanced Physics 2 until you've already checked out the first physics, which is hard enough, trust me. Okay, let's take a look. So Dylan McMillan uh, is really into health and medicine. That's the high school he wants to go to. And when I click on that class, I see that there is just tons and tons and tons and tons of lessons that he could learn about. Um, let's say he has a buddy with leukemia and he wants to learn a little bit more about it. Even in the browse section, you can click on lessons and you can play them. So here, without even adding the course, he can already access this information and check it out. The group of cells that are dividing really rapidly that eventually form a mass. Okay, I'm going to stop that right there.
Let's say he loves this stuff and he wants to earn points for the videos that he watches. I'm going to go back to his dashboard clicking on the Khan Academy icon. And I'm going to scroll down past his assignments to My Courses. Next to My Courses, there's an edit button. And here I've got the ones he's already in. And as I keep scrolling, I click on Science. And I'm going to click on Health and Medicine and continue with four courses. Now the health and medicine course has been added to his dashboard and when he does anything in this course he'll get more points. Pretty cool, huh? So this is one of your options today after you complete the three mandatory lessons on reasons for the seasons you can explore your interests or you can check out your Google Classroom where I have attached links for different Seasons Interactives. There's three of them. In the third Seasons Interactive, this is the only one that's a little weird. You have to click Enable Adobe Flash Player and Allow, and then it should work for you. The other two interactives will work right away. But I want you to check these out, play around with them, see what they can do, and which one you like better. Um, right now, this model is not representing what happens on Earth, because our axis of rotation is not straight up and down like that. So I'm going to click on Earth, and you can see that our axis tilts. And now, as the interactive plays, I can see what actually happens um, every day of the year if I wanted to. Um, all the way around. Okay, and I'm noticing as the Earth revolves around the Sun, the Sun is not rising as high in the sky during certain months as it does in others. Look at the sunlight angle, which relates to the lab we just did with those dry erase boards, and the temperature data. Hmm, this stuff sounds familiar. I'd like you to check out all three of the interactive games I have for you and there's a little survey for you to fill out where you can give me feedback on which one you thought was the best. That's all for now folks. Have fun!